Hello, this is uh, Nerdzo Pro, and I'm going to make a series dedicated to an idea, or dedicated to something important. Politics, very dirty subject, quite dirty. And I think there's some political ideas that the American people can all agree on. And I'm not going to get into the detail. I'm not even going to mention anything real political. This is not a Democratic nor Republican influence video since I disagree with both parties to an extreme extent. To anything, this is more of a uh, libertarian video, which they believe that you can do whatever you want as long as it doesn't hurt someone. I think that's a really good idea. And if you want, I will go into more depth about the Libertarian Party and more depth about the Democratic Party as well as the Republican Party. But I think to, to right now, let's just go focus on what I was going to say. So I think this video is going to be about something that I think we all can agree with, but I don't think anyone's really actively trying to. I, we can all agree the virus. Just get, get into it. The virus, COVID-19 itself, the coronavirus, not the Chinese virus, the coronavirus, because we're not pointing fingers at people. We have a problem. We need to solve it. I think it's very simple. Unfortunately, people love to blame people, but when it comes to figuring out the solution, it doesn't really seem to happen, which I think that is quite a horrible thing. So what do you think the solution to the virus is? I've thought about it. I put a lot of thought into it. And I think my the biggest solution would honestly be a national mask mandate, even if it's not as con constitutional, the Constitution was not written expecting this to happen. A national mask mandate would be good only because masks only work in this term that everyone wears them. If you have the virus, there's no guarantee you know you have the virus. You could say, well, you'll feel it, you'll know it, blah, blah, blah. But there is, it's a small percentage, 10% of everyone that caught the coronavirus did not experience any symptoms. And I don't know how accurate 10% is, it may be more or less, but there is a chance. And that would mitigate the spread. That would be a really great idea. My questioning is, will there be a vaccine? There probably will, but I wouldn't expect it to be effective. Maybe 60 to 80% best case scenario. But there's many things we could have done different in the past, but it's all a matter of money. When the SARS-19 virus came around, it was similar to the coronavirus in such a large amount that you could, by definition, say that a vaccine for the SARS virus would work for the coronavirus. And I'm not a, I'm not a biologist. I have no idea. But one thing I do know is that they are very similar viruses. They both came from a Chinese bat. I don't remember the name or the species of this bat, but it came from this bat. It bit a human being. They caught the infection. And then it spread beyond the world. It's not like it was drawn up in a lab. Only a lab can solve the problem, not create it. Although there are a lot of chemical things that were made, this virus is not man-made. I don't care what political crap called you to say that this is man-made. This is not man-made. It was promoted wrong. It was rumored. People don't have their facts straight. The truth of the matter is the virus is not man-made. And the problem with people is that the problem with anyone is that, you know what? The problem is we're blaming people. We're going to point fingers at people. Why? You know what? We can blame China all day for the virus, but it's not going to fix it. We, we can say, hey, China, why don't we and you come up with a solution to the virus that will fix it? We are very, very worse off than what we were. We are having problems that we never expected. Our economy is in garbage. Now, solving the virus is a very hard process. You have to, first of all, come up with a vaccine, but let's say we never get a vaccine because the chances are pretty low. If we would have started developing a vaccine in the SARS virus days, we would probably have a working coronavirus vaccine today. But it's all about that money. Like they, they were, the scientists did think it was gonna come back and we have COVID-19 now. It's interesting. You go to the store and you see a um, two for one deal, 50% more, 50% more. That's what it is. It's a two for one flu. You get you get 50% more contagious, 50% more deadly. 
And I don't know if anyone knows this, but this is not the same coronavirus that we had in 2000 and in March. The virus has mutated to be more contagious because, let's face it, just like all biological organisms, it is very confident in itself. <laughs> but it has mutated to be way more contagious than what you would ever imagine it to be. So, with the virus being more contagious, but less people are dying because we have made advancements in the sort of fashion of preventing people from dying, or I'm completely wrong. I'm pretty sure someone's going to put in the comments, well, everyone that could die has already. Now, that's a little mean. Are you telling me every person over the age of 80 is dead? <laughs> no, that's not true. I have a 93-year-old uncle. He's still fine. To be quite honest, we need to change some things that we're doing, and this is not politically influenced. We need a mass mandate. It's not just going to die out. This virus will always exist. We will develop an immunity to it at some point. Probably within the next 10 years, everyone will have caught the coronavirus and immunity would start to form. But my generation will have less immunity than my kids will have and their kids will have more immunity than, my, than their parents. It's just how the virus will work. Eventually, we'll learn how to live with it or we'll go like Star Trek and eventually outright cure the common cold, but something tells me that's not going to be reality anytime soon. So, what we need to do is very simple. We need to come up with a vaccine, which may or may not ever happen. We need to, number two, um, come up with ways for the virus to be less deadly, which we have things like that. We have medications such as Regeneron, and there, there's a whole list of them. And, and do not say, I heard that from, um, you know, that man. The truth of the matter is Regeneron is an actual drug, and it is on its way to being FDA approved. And loading people up with vitamin C is also a good decision, because that is the vitamin you need to fight virus. That's the vitamin you need to actually fight any sort of virus. It's your immunal support. Eat some oranges. If you really want to not be as dead to the virus, go to the store, buy an orange and eat it. That's full of vitamin C. The same thing could go for a grapefruit. Good grapefruit every Sunday? Perfect. Any type of... um. Any type of uh, fruit like that. Like they say it makes me scurvy. Any type of fruit that they would say makes me scurvy, then that's the one. The pirates say. That's the one. That's the one that has vitamin C. But there's also a lot of other ways. You can take immuno supplement medication. If you if you want to, it, it's it's no, it's just a vitamin you take. Or you can take medic you can take vitamins. It's, it's probably smart. You take a multivitamin. But don't make don't get ripped off. Like buy one that makes sense. Don't go to the vitamin store and buy a multivitamin that that is like I, I don't I agree with the people that do it to a certain extent but they just pay more for vitamins how are all the Christian stores closing down but not the vitamin stores <laughs> <laughs> but um back to the point is the um we need to do make some changes we need a mask mandate unfortunately it, it will be deemed unconstitutional to do but maybe we can convince a mask mandate to be honest, when Whitmer got overthrown in Michigan, because I am a Michigander, I did notice it. Like, you could say she was being crazy, which I, by all means, she, she was a little over the top, but it was working. Like, you could say that her insanity was insane, insane. and in a term, it was, but it was working. So, how insane is it? Like, geez, we're having a an energy crisis. I got an idea. Why don't we try not to use gas? Yeah, that's insane. We can't do that. It's, again, it's just one of those problems. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'd just be rambling on more. We really do need to solve this virus problem. There's three ways we can do it. The vaccine we probably won't be seeing until next summer, if at all. Don't say there will be a dark winter because that was on the media a little bit too. Don't call it the Chinese virus because they didn't invent it. It came from China. That That's pretty much where it ends. The, the virus originated in the country from a bat that was in a cave. And just stay away from bats in general. They are such... Stay away from them. Just, just do. Even if, they, even if they're not that type of bat. And we need a vaccine. I mentioned that. We need a mask mandate. Because masks are only going to work if the person who is sick wears it. If everyone else doesn't wear a mask, and if you're not sick, you don't need the mask. I suggest you don't take the political, um, the politics, or any part of our government's 
truth in that mask thing. You need to do your own research. Like Joe Biden was right, there needs to be a mask mandate, but you might want to do a little more bare research about it. Um, you need to do a little more bare research on it. And to be realistic, he is our next president. If you're Republican, please set a good example. I really don't want a repeat of 2016. Have a beautiful day. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't try to get into politics, but riots are a no. The next video I'll probably be making next week will be about violence and how we need to solve this problem because we have an abundance amount of problems who we don't need, who we need, we need to solve. Nevertheless, who you are with or political parties or, or money, or any of this stuff, we need to solve these problems. Problems need to be solved. They are there to be solved. In a story, the problem solved at the end, why don't we be a story? Either way, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I am going to close it this time, not like all the other times. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye. It's such a nice day. It's 70 degrees over here. So, and I'm in Michigan. It's November. You see, the, see that? That's an odd thing. Have a beautiful day.